Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day practice question. Question was, the National Film Awards is one of the most prestigious and much looked forward to events in the country. The President of India presents the awards culminating in showcasing of award-winning films for the public. It was established in which year? 1952, 1954, 1956 or 1958? The correct answer is option B, 1954. Established in 1954, the National Film Awards is one of the most prestigious and much looked forward to events in the country. The Honorable President of India presents the awards culminating in showcasing of award-winning films for the public. Hence, option B is correct. Initially called State Awards with two President's Gold Medals, two Certificates of Merit and Silver Medals for a dozen regional films for the first six years, it was the practice to give the Regional Best Award to the National Best Film itself. Over the years, the number of awards increased. The awards are given in three sections, Features, Non-Features and Best Writing on Cinema. The winners of the awards are decided by the jury comprising persons distinguished in the field of cinema, other allied arts and humanities. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, which of the following best reflects the aim of the government scheme UVA 2.0? Mentoring young authors, developing space facilities, removing malnutrition in tribal areas or promoting awareness regarding hygiene. The correct answer is option A, mentoring young authors. Recently, the Ministry of Education Department of Higher Education launched UVA 2.0 Prime Minister's Scheme for Mentoring Young Authors. Hence, option A is correct. It is an author mentorship program to train young and budding authors below 30 years of age in order to promote reading, writing and book culture in the country and project India and Indian writings globally. UVA 2.0 is a part of India at the rate 75 project Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to bring to the fore the perspectives of the young generation of writers on the theme, democracy, institutions, events, people, constitutional values, past, present, future in an innovative and creative manner. This scheme will thus help to develop a stream of writers who can write on a spectrum of subjects to promote Indian heritage, culture and knowledge system. Next question is, in the context of art and culture, the term pohiri is referred to folk dance in Papua New Guinea, folk music in Spain, martial art in Germany or welcome ceremony in New Zealand. The correct answer is option D, welcome ceremony in New Zealand. The chief of the naval staff Indian Navy was warmly welcomed in the traditional pohiri ceremony hosted by the Royal New Zealand Navy recently. Pohiri is a welcome ceremony in New Zealand, hence option D is correct. It involves Wai Korero formal speech, Waiata singing and Kai that means food. It is associated with the Maori culture of New Zealand. Next question is, recently the Indian Air Force inducted indigenously built light combat helicopter that is LCH. It is armed with the air-to-air -air missile which has a maximum interception range of 6.7 km. What is the name of this missile? Fohin, Sirocco, Mistral or Bora? The correct answer is option C, Mistral. Recently, the Indian Air Force inducted indigenously built light combat helicopter that is LCH. The LCH is armed with 20mm nose gun, 70mm rockets, anti-tank guided missile Dhruvastra and air-to-air -air missile Mistral 2 of MBDA which has a maximum interception range of 6.5 km. Mistral ATAM that is air-to-air -air missile is based on the Mistral missile with its fire and forget engagement mode, ease of operation and unrivaled kill probability. The system is based on two launchers each bearing two missiles and can be connected to the helicopter's combat system. The system can be operated within the whole flight envelope of the launch helicopter at speeds of up to 200 knots and at altitudes exceeding 15,000 feet. Its length is around 1.86 meter and weight is around 18.7 kilogram. Its maximum intercept range is 6.5 kilometer. Hence, option C is correct. Next question is, with reference to the Indian biodiversity, what is Indian silver bill? 
insects, aves, primates or echinoderms? The correct answer is option B, aves. The Indian silverbill or white-throated munia is a small passerine bird found in the Indian subcontinent and adjoining regions that was formerly considered to include the closely related African silverbill. This astralidid finch is a common resident breeding bird in the drier regions of the Middle East and the Indian subcontinent. It has also been introduced into many other parts of the world and has become established in some areas. They forage in small flocks in grassland and scrub habitats. Their IUCN status is least concern. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, in 1936, it attained the distinction of becoming the first national park to be established in mainland Asia. The park was then named as the Haley National Park. Now it is a tiger reserve and came under Project Tiger in 1971. The river Ram Ganga flows through it. What is the name of this tiger reserve? Rajaji, Dudhwa, Jim Corbett or Pench? The correct answer is option C, Jim Corbett. As per a forest survey of India, that is FSI report, over 6,000 trees illegally cut for tiger safari project in Corbett Reserve. In 1936, Corbett attained the distinction of becoming the first national park to be established in mainland Asia. The park was then named as the Halle National Park and was later renamed as Corbett National Park after James Edward Corbett, the noted hunter turned conservationist of the area. The area came under Project Tiger in 1971 and is declared as Tiger Reserve. The river Ram Ganga flows through it. It is one of the richest bird regions of the country and has been declared as an important bird area by BirdLife International. Hence, option C is correct. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Mars Orbiter mission. 1. It is India's first interplanetary spacecraft. 2. It was launched in November 2013 by using its GSLV MK2. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Mars Orbiter Mission or MOM, also called Mangalyaan, is an unmanned mission to Mars that is India's first interplanetary spacecraft. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The ISRO or Indian Space Research Organization launched the MOM on November 5, 2013 using its polar satellite launch vehicle that is PSLV from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It arrived at Mars on September 24, 2014. The spacecraft's instruments are a color camera, a thermal infrared sensor, an ultraviolet spectrometer to study deuterium and hydrogen in Mars' upper atmosphere, and a mass spectrometer to study neutral particles in the Martian exosphere, and a sensor for methane. Hence, option A is correct. Next question is with reference to the Nobel Prizes, consider the following statements. 1. The first awards were handed out in 1901. 2. The Nobel Peace Prize is presented in Norway. 3. The Economics Award was created by Sweden's Central Park. 4. The nominations are kept secret for 50 years. How many above given statement or statements is or are correct? Only one statement, only two statements, only three statements or all the four statements? The correct answer is option D, all the four statements. The beginning of October means Nobel Prize season. The prizes in medicine, physics, chemistry, literature and peace were established by the will of Alfred Nobel, a wealthy Swedish industrialist and the inventor of dynamite. The first awards were handed out in 1901, five years after Nobel's death. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The Nobel Peace Prize is presented in Norway while the other awards are handed out in Sweden. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The Economics Award, officially known as the Bank of Sweden Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, was created by Sweden's Central Bank in 1968. Hence, statement 3 is correct. The Nobel statutes prohibit the judges from discussing their deliberations for 50 years. The nominations are kept secret for 50 years. Hence, statement 4 is also correct. Therefore, option D is correct. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स और एस डी जी एक्शन अवार्ड आर एसोसिएटेड विद विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वंस वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम वर्ल्ड वाइड फंड फॉर नेचर यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और पैसिफिक आईलैंड फोरम द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसेंटली सृष्टि बख्शी हैज वन द चेंज मेकर अवार्ड एट द यू एन एस डी जी और यूनाइटेड नेशन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स एक्शन अवार्ड हैंस ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट द यू एन एस डी जी एक्शन अवार्ड आर अ सिग्नेचर प्रोग्राम ऑफ द यू एन एस डी जी एक्शन कैंपेन Since 2018 the UN SDG Action Awards have been identifying and celebrating change makers across the world who have been rethinking ways to drive progress towards the 2030 agenda the awards seeks initiatives that mobilize inspire and connect people to drive action towards a more sustainable future on a healthy planet Next question is Tikuli painting is related to which of the following states of India Bihar Rajasthan Uttarakhand or Haryana The correct answer is option A Bihar Tikuli is a type of hand painting and its history spread over 800 years The painting with its modern evolution and varied manifestations find its origin in Patna Bihar Tikuli is the term that is locally used for bindis which are essentially colorful dots that women wear as accessories between their eyebrows. The basic raw materials used in tikuli craft is the MDF board and the colors. This is a unique product hand crafted by artisans. This craft provides livelihood support to about 300 to 500 artisans families on regular basis in Digha Danapur and Gaighat Mahalas of Patna town of Bihar. hence option a is correct last question is the pukhur embroidery is related to which of the following tribes of india irula bhotia gond or toda the correct answer is option d toda recently unesco released a list of 50 exclusive and iconic heritage textile crafts of the country toda embroidery and sungadi from tamil nadu himru weaves from hyderabad were some of the textiles that made the cut The Toda embroidery also locally known as pukhur is an artwork among the Toda pastoral people of Nilgiris in Tamil Nadu made exclusively by their women. The embroidery which has a fine finish appears like a woven cloth but is made with the use of red and black threads with a white cotton cloth background. Both sides of the embroidered fabric are usable and the Toda people are proud of its heritage. Both men and women adorn themselves with the embroidered cloaks and shawls. Hence option D is correct. Now it's time for the practice question. In 2022 World Habitat Day or WHD 2022 is observed on October 3rd, October 4th, October 5th or October 6th. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.